man, oh man. So now we are rolling right into STTP Wilson versus Wrench for Losers Finals. This and is crazy. And it's Wilson going back to the game plan. Pick Hammer. He and likes I, those Katars, though. So he's yeah. on Sentinel. It's it's double. So he has the Hammer, which was the original game plan. He has the Katars, which has been basically his entire career. Queen Nye to Ragnar, like a little bit of Ember in there. Everything. All for the Katars. So you said he likes to pick Miami Dome and which other map? I can't remember. I, I Like, I would pull it up, but it would take me way too long to pull it up. It was like Miami Dome. Oh, no. Oh, oh, just barely. Gosh, that just was so barely. close. He almost got the hit. Yep. Would have given him the chase dodge. He would have survived. But now Wrenched is just has such a great opportunity to start with a strong message against Wilson, especially off that clash. Wilson having to recover. Now he's able to slap Wrenched off the side. And you don't see, you're not going to see Wilson edge guard Wrenched. That's just not a part of his game plan, is huge edge guard situations. Uh, he loves the kind of rock, paper, scissors game that you get on the corner mm -hmm. of, are you going to attack me, dodge through me, or try and go up above me? I wonder what his option with Sentinel is going to be on the corner. Maybe it'll be that. Because like obviously with Ragnar, he has the, the, the Spitfire right on the yep. corner with the Katars in his hand. Uh, with the Lin Fei, he has the Down Signature on Cannon as well. Nothing in the Sentinel kit works kind of in that same way that's going to like go over the corner. Yeah, yeah. I think he's really just going to be able to threaten a little bit extra horizontal threat near the corner that okay. can spike with that down Katar signature. Okay. Big lightning splash. And then it also ends up covering dodge throws. Now, what I don't know, and you might know the answer to this, is when you do the hammer side signature, or sorry, down signature. Ah. Does that, like, the, does the blast, if the blast, like, starts over the corner, does it have kind of an AoE? A uh, little bit, yeah. Okay. So that might be able to go down just a little bit if Wrench is peeking up a little bit too yeah, high. Yeah, if he's peeking, uh, you'll you'll catch the Okay. And it's got such great range on it, too, because he just shoves that hammer just yeah. full length. Two stock lead. Going to take a sip. Man, Wrenched is really just piling this on. So Wilson, I mean, having just gotten 3-0'd, and now it was three stocks to one. He shaved that down two stocks to one. Do, do you do you see this, like, maybe cracking away at his mental game a little bit? Um, Probably a little bit. I mean, like, Wrenched, that's, that's been, like, Wrenched all day. Has it just been getting these huge, massive leads? And then Wilson coming off of a 3-0, like, being in winner's finals, like, that's got to be a huge high. Yeah. Him, him sliding another seasonal championship in his pocket. Like, he's, he's looking at that. But then he gets 3-0'd against an Isaiah. Like, Ooh. that's just, that's rubbing salt in the wound. Of course, it's it was an amazing Isaiah. It was Cody Travis's Isaiah. It's fantastic. But Man. still, losing to that Isaiah and then having to go straight into this. Like, you saw how quickly they went into this set. Like, the last one ended, and it was just like, boom, 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 boom. You heard the maps immediately being banned out. And there's got to be something about, you know, Wilson, he loves his guitars, but Wrenched is the guitar master yep. winning this ditto right here. That's been wrenched all day. Oh my gosh, off of the the hang time on that weapon throw, giving him the recovery and game one. And a two stock, nonetheless. Pretty convincing. And they're rolling right into it. Wilson shifting over back to Lin Fei. Now I normally or wait, is it isn't that, no, is that that's, Jala? Yeah, I think that's Jala. Okay, I was wondering. So he's going back yeah, to he's the axe Jala. with sword. When did he Interesting. Play Jala? Has he played Jala this year? Let's see. When he's reported his character, which everybody should do. I know Matt is going to uh, report his character more now, which is fantastic. Thank you so much, Matt. Shout out, Matt. Um, I don't think he's really played Jala hardly at all this year, at least when he's reported Man. his character. Well, we're on Jala. We know he has an axe because yes. Ragnar was one of his mainstay picks. And we're on that Miami Dome that he always talked about grabbing. Ooh. Punishing that spot dodge so well. He must have 100% expected that. Ooh, almost got that spot dodge, but wrench just a little bit too low. Now, high strength again. This Jala pick is going to give Wilson so much strength with how well he's able to use signatures on virtually every character he picks. One of the best signature users in the entire game. His kill potential, again, through the roof. And he has D-Light neutral oh! signature on the sword as a kill option. Of course, he could throw that, swiping the ground right over that corner, taking out Wrench, and now Wilson is the one with a gigantic lead. Yeah, I mean, we, we always talk about he likes to use kind of that rock, paper, scissors game around the corner, and that down signature whirlwind 
It covers those dodge throughs amazingly well. Gave him the first stock and Wrench taking his own first stock. Yep, that was a very quick turnaround. Grab to cancel neutral light. Very interesting edge guard option, but the perfect one. Yeah, he definitely did that for all of the active frames yep. that he could throw out there. He was going to basically gain priority over virtually any move that Wilson had based on like the trajectory that he was coming in. Like unarmed cider wouldn't win, uh, unarmed downlight wouldn't win, anything like that oh wasn't going to win. Gosh. And the lead still persists for Wilson. Man, he uses Jala's signature so incredibly well. He's landed quite a few neutral axes already, and the down axe, I mean, he's got almost the full trifecta. Now that Isidru doesn't use as many signatures as he used to before, like Wilson is probably one of the top like number of signatures that he uses per game. Oh He's yeah. He's definitely gotta be top five. Whoa, beating out the numbers. corner attempt with the axe neutral light. Again. I mean, oh. he's got so much range on that thing. Oh! Just chopping away again and again. Such a commanding lead for Wilson here, and yet another neutral light. Woo! Beautiful! Just slide off with the whirlwind, take game two, put a stop to wrench momentum. Keep keep playing that Jala. His axe is beautiful. I would say also maybe swap to the Ragnar, but he doesn't there's guaranteed he doesn't want to do the Qatar Dittos. That's why he chose the Jala pick, is because his axe is fantastic, but he doesn't want to do the Qatar Dittos. Which oh. I, don't, I don't blame him for. Like this Jala pick is so smart. Yep. And look at that. I, first map that wrenched ban was Miami yep. Dome. He was just like, no, 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 that, that's enough of that. You can maybe have Shipwreck, and Wilson's like, Three, no, two. that's enough of that. <laughs> How about we compromise Mammoth yeah. Fortress? Always a willing compromise for most players. It's a very neutral map, medium-sized walls, like very stable, stable KO line distances. It's interesting that like this map existed with the the soft platform like moving before any just raw square map yeah. did like small brawl haven like that's that's just interesting that the genesis of the map pool took that long for just a regular map with no soft platform and like this seems so normal yeah when in reality this isn't the most normal map yeah I mean wrench trying to make some use of that soft platform to find a landing but man Wilson commands so much aerial space especially trying to use that new ground pound. Bro, oh, it's so good. I'm so happy that happened. <laughs> it is phenomenal. I, I love seeing players adopt it quickly. Oh, but slapped with the bottom spike down and the weapon throw, taking out Wilson's first stock. I think Axe players were just happy to have a, like a, us a usable move there. Yes. <laughs> because old ground pound, man, that was, unless you were just really on beautiful Ooh. side sig, the Superman punch with that sword, evening it up 100%. But unless you just really nailed something, definitely on the edge, like where he used it on the edge, if you'd use old ground pound, he probably would have been dead. Oh, yeah. That was just something you, you don't do. You'd see him on like weird dodge reads or a super high up edge guard. Yep. Man, Wrench just cutting Wilson to shreds, finding down air, neutral air, neutral air. Just always those vertical slices. D-Light side air. It was looking like Wilson was going to recover high, but then he just goes back to the top of the wall. Neutral Sig coming out. D-Light side air to punish from Wrench. They're Wilson, basically yep. even. Going back to the wall. I mean, that's the thing about Jala, right? She deals a ton of damage, but she takes a ton of damage. Yep, he is using defense stance, so it goes from three to four. Man, look at how wrenched is just completely staying Ooh. between Wilson and the weapon. The second he gets to the weapon, you see the kill coming off the top. I mean, that's something that players just get so much better at as time goes on, is invoking weapon starving as a major point of play. And that hasn't always been the case for a long time. Like, even at re as recently as low tier city, like, that's not been a priority for a bunch of different players. And we, we, we saw a lot of it in EU today. Yeah from a bunch of different players. And it seems like we're, we're seeing it more from North America as well. So I'm glad, really glad people are adopting that because it's just so powerful to force your opponent onto unarmed, no matter what they're playing into. Yeah, and they, they've kind of focused on, uh, you know, leaving a weapon drop on the field because it forces the engagement to that spot. Mm -hmm. Oh, just dodging out the down air, but Wilson able to clean it up. One stock apiece, but Way to damage hill to climb. And he's sticking with the sword. He threw his axe away and picked up the sword. 
and wants to stick with that. You see them both kind of crossing each other, going past one another, both chase dodging towards each other at the exact same time. They're in the sword dittos. That's going to be a punish right there. That's regularly, uh, normally a, a, a Noel move that you see. A lot of other players, Asuri players, don't throw out that signature quite as much, but Noel loves that one. Wrench sending Wilson wide. Oh, oh my gosh, got scared just shy away from the wall. That weapon drop taking too much of his resources. That's going to be Wrench going up 2-1 in this best of five. I think we're just going to... Oh, wow. There's the swap. The swap back yep. to the classic, the Ragnar. We're seeing that Ragnar swap coming out. That Jala, he wasn't finding the signatures that he needed. He, he found the yep. side signature, like to take off uh, Wrench's first stock immediately right after he died. But he, he just, it seemed like they weren't necessarily the biggest part of his, like, his light attacks as well. Like, that's something you see with the Ragnar, is he'll start strings and end them with a signature. Yeah, now that we've got the Ragnar back in play, his corner game is in full effect. And side sig on Axe will kill so early in this game. Oh, yeah. On small brawl haven, yeah, you're going to be done so early if Wilson finds connection. I mean, he's got Axe side air for that. He's got the new ground pound. He's got all of his signatures, which he uses so well. So I totally agree with this legend and map pick. Whoa. Looking to really make it back because, you know what, even all we've been talking about Wilson there, Wrenched was the one bringing out that damage lead, just chipping away at Wilson's health. Ooh, following up with that immediate side air, expecting the immediate recovery at that level from Wilson rather than jumping high or fast falling down or anything like that. Just staying right at the level with Wilson. You see him dodging away before he decides to go in onto that weapon. The D-Light almost killing. Man, oh man, Wrench so incredibly damaged, Ooh. taking him off the top, so close. If Wilson had lost his stock there, that would be, I, I'd say that would be a, a done deal, just lights out. If Asuri had a move that would like hit and hit up, like the gravity cancel neutral signature, if it didn't yep. send down, then that probably could have been a gravity cancel neutral signature into the kill. Wilson on these guitars, kind of guarding that extra weapon there. Ooh, Wilson's Ooh. orange. Uh-oh. Wrench starting to run away with this one. All the moves that Wilson is finding okay. connection with. You see him put his face <laughs> in his hand because it took him that long, and he had to kill with a weapon toss, bonking wrenched on the head. All of the moves that he was finding connections on, side lights. Um, I can't remember the other ones, but none of them were kill options. Some guitar down lights, just nothing. That, uh, things that are setup attacks, yes. but not finishers. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Wrench going oh. up with full stock lead. Just consecutive anti air with that sword neutral air. Neutral light coming out. Wrench is going to dodge away. Tries to come in punishing. There's a nice two hit coming out from Wilson. He has the axe in his hand, but he's so far behind. It's a significant amount of damage. Again, Wilson is kind of playing on that back foot there. He needs to find perfect stocks. Okay. Wrench knew it was coming. He stayed glued to that ground. He buried his feet in the grass. Got to wiggle them toes. Wilson trying to wiggle that axe right through Wrench's neck. That sounds gr that's gross. <laughs> yeah. That's so gross. I don't want to think about that. <laughs> it's a spinning axe flying through the air. Yeah. Of course it's going to find that's true. somewhere. Man, oh man. There it is, finally tying up the stocks. But Wilson, look at that. He's almost into the red, right between red and orange. Both players trading down lights, but Wilson is so far behind. Rich is going to sit on the wall. There's the neutral light. Wrench playing just a little bit too high. Wrench is definitely going to, going to be looking for, oh no, maybe just the side air off that top. Oh, he could have gone for the down light there. I think Wilson was peeking right over the corner. d oh, recovery, man. that's gonna be it. Wrenched, taking it. 3-1 against Wilson. He's going to the grand finals. How do you feel, Sparky? I'm not good. <laughs> not, you, not, re you ready for that, Pepper? I don't feel good about this. Cody, oh man, Cody, Cody, Cody is your Cody. Last Cody's my oh. man. If I was ever gonna put my hope into anybody, 
I put it in Cody Travis. And you know what? Cody's got two sets to do it with. That's true. He's coming from winner's side. They're going to be fighting in a best three out of five. And if Cody wins, that's it. He is the summer championship. If Wrenched wins, they're fighting yet another best three out of five.